appeared to be Cornwaye who got the goal. Cornwaye has it on that wing. Here's a shot. Henderson made a wild stab for spell. Here's another shot. Fight by the score. Henderson has scored for Canada. I remember uh, having a sense that I could score a goal. Uh, desperately needing a goal and uh, seeing it going over the line and uh, jumping into Cornway's uh, arms and celebrating. Ron Ellis tells me that just before that Harry Sinden had tapped you guys on the back you just come off the ice and said you're going back on and he said as he was catching his breath Ron Ellis you jumped up and pulled Peter Mahovlich off the ice which for you he said was very uncharacteristic. What prompted you to do that? I don't know. I had a sense that uh, I could score a goal. Uh, I had a sense that our tie was no good. And one of those reasons that I can't even describe today, I never had done it before, never did it after that, stood up and actually started yelling at a player to come off the ice. And Peter Mohavlic was the left winger. And uh, for some reason, Peter, come on. But I, I, I just felt that, that I could score a goal. And I think you might be the first guy in hockey history not only to score that goal, but to get Peter Mahovlich off the ice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. There was two miracles. <laughs> it's such a defining moment in Canadian sports history. How did it define your hockey career? Well, it was the highlight of my athletic career. There's no two ways about it. And it's given me a place in Canadians' hearts that, uh, that I certainly would never have had uh, without the goal. And so 25 years later, I'm uh, appreciating more today than I even did back then. As we so often see, however, it often comes at the expense of everything else you accomplished in hockey. Uh, is that a frustration for you in any way? Oh, not really. I, I think that everybody knew that I had to be a pretty good hockey player. I wouldn't have been on uh, Team Canada, wouldn't have been invited, but I, I realize the scope of that. I will forever be identified with that the day I die. I mean, the headlines will be the guy that scored the goal in 72 just kicked the bucket. And uh, that's, uh, that's a reality, and so you can either embrace it or run from it. And I've chosen to embrace it and, and embrace it uh, in a very cherished way. As you look back on the entire series as a whole, what impact has it had on Canadian hockey? Well, I think that uh, it showed us that uh, the, the world knew how to play the game, and the Russians played a different style than we did, and so I, I think it did have a, a, an effect on the game. We understood what real teamwork was all about. We understood the skill uh, level uh, that was very uh, unnerving. And uh, the fact that if you're going to win in hockey, boy, you better be thinking as a, as a team. But that little fiber, I just kind of think that the Canadians have got it when they need it and will reach down and get it. The indomitable will to win and the way to find it. Well, let's call it that, but I think we have it. You found it. Thanks uh, for joining us. Uh, thank you. All thank you very much.